And also, I believe we're live. ER. Why are you... I don't even... We're out here on the high seas. Oh, God. I already opened the last episode with the gruff voice bit, and it wasn't even that good. So now you're doing an even less original a pirate thing. I'd be pl- I don't have anything. What, oh, um, are you playing Sea of Thieves or something? I'm playing Sea of Thieves. Oh, wh- why? Uh, it's good. I like it. Oh, okay. I, uh, it- I enjoy the game. Okay. I, I, I play, I've played like probably uh, an hour or two all told, and I got killed by a kraken and plundered a ship. It was pretty fucking cool. Um, yeah. I've had a weird... I've had a, a, a weird... 24 hours? 48 hours, I guess? You can't even tell. I, it must have been pretty weird. Um, so, I uh, yesterday was my birthday. So I went out for my birthday, and uh, I wanted to go see that new X-Men movie. <laughs> <laughs> the, so the greatest birthday all, present of all. It's not showing in any... It's showing in one theater near me. Just one theater. For some <laughs> Wait, reason. what? It's you live in a in city. Me. I know. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> this is I hear me out. Hear I was out. worried I was thinking about that movie because I kept seeing stuff about that movie before it came out. I was like, what the fuck is this? I only just like in the last couple of weeks realized it was an X-Men movie. Um So I'm thinking, like, so, does anyone even know that that's an X-Men movie? Uh obviously I do, because I'm the most You're a super tuned fan into the X-Men franchise. I am an X-Men super fan. Yeah, by I'm the way, X-Men. for those listening to this archived real quick, we're doing this one live for the first time. Oh, and yes. um as expected, no one's listening except Angry Mage, who's already roasting us in the chat. Oh, God. Who's, who says he's, he really enjoyed the past four streams today because I couldn't fucking get things started. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't bundle me into that. You're the one getting roasted. It would have been way more yeah, if you had tried. You have no idea how... how they, YouTube gives you something called a stream name, and it's a bunch of letters, and it just says, oh, put this into your uh, broadcasting. There's no mm-hmm. field for that. That's the key. They 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 use they just straight up use the wrong word and no one apparently yeah. has let them know. But, but like but other I I have had, I haven't had that problem before. I've streamed to YouTube and it's been it's been like stream key. So I don't know if they uh, changed yeah. it. No, it's stream key in one page and it's stream oh, name on God. another page. Just fucking ridiculous. Anyways, tell me anyway, about anyway. Dark Fo- uh, Phoenix. So first of all, it was a quest to even find this movie. So I I am convinced that Disney is killing Sorry, this movie. I, I think they want uh, they've gotten the exact Sorry, reaction they wanted if this is the case where um, they intentionally sabotage Dark Phoenix to make people think that the entire X-Men franchise has been bad or to like kind of turn the tide against it, right? Because people didn't really love Apocalypse. I did, obviously. To make of course. But, uh, that the entire X-Men franchise um, has been bad. And I, I think what they did is they paid critics off to make people to say it was way shittier than it actually is and didn't actually put it into theaters. So it tanks and everyone's like, oh, thank God Marvel's got the X-Men franchise now. Instead of, you know, the actual appropriate reaction, which is um, the only interesting superhero franchise has been destroyed. Wow. Uh, which uh, I, it makes me want to die. It makes me want to die. I, 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 I love those X-Men movies. For ev- every aspect of them is great. At its worst, it's still amazing to me. So, um, hmm. but yeah, I, I think I... It obviously sounds pretty pretty out there, but I, I would not put it above Disney to trash it, to make it seem like this is something that had to happen um but uh yeah so uh so you think disney paid to make the movie bad i think disney paid critics to give it worse reviews than it's actually worth because it's it's Hmm. impossible i i saw it i saw it. it there there are some there's some strangeness in it but it's nowhere near as bad as critics are actually like saying it is but like that's they are they are they are currently experiencing the worst Marvel withdrawals. It's been like you know two whole months since <sighs> since the last uh, since the the last um, Thanos. Yeah, I think I think they wanted to shit this out, and uh, and and then everybody will be excited for that Spider Man movie, and that's I think that was the tactic here. The eighth Spider Man movie in the, in the last year. Yeah. Um... Other than that, it was so I tried to go to the movie. I rolled up to the theater like five minutes late, and they wouldn't let me in. Uh, so, so, uh, Dark Phoenix. Uh, it's like Dark Phoenix is a serious you, fucking movie. You had your own. You Bruce Campbell was at the fucking door. Yeah. He's like, oh, Monsieur, <laughs> fucking taps his uh, watch. Yeah. Um. 
but uh, yeah, I was not allowed to go into the movie late. Um, and then I instead, my my friends and I who came along, we went to like the nearby bars and just got drunk until the ten o'clock showing. So I went there at seven, then drank for three hours, then saw Dark Phoenix, which hmm. probably the appropriate way to see it. Pro- has, um, it has maybe something to do with why you think it's good. I, people around me who were stone cold sober said they loved it more than I did. Mm. So uh, I didn't. I trust their tastes. So. Um, All right. But uh, anyway, I, I don't want to talk about this forever. I've never uh, seen I a also, single one of those movies. Uh, they're the best. I love them. I'm going to start Origins with Wolverine X-Men Origins classic. Wolverine. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm telling you. But uh, I, I then also uh, it's after gonna be I just X-Men up, Origins Wolverine and then the one where he fucks a Japanese lady. Uh, yes, the Wolverine. Uh, <laughs> It's not a confusing franchise. The naming scheme works great. I tried um, I tried to look up the continuity of those movies and I read one article that claimed to explain it and I still didn't really get it and the first comment was like this isn't even correct. <laughs> so then I gave uh, up. No, well it's it's uh I mean all of it gets completely retconned in Days of the Future Past anyway. So well like, yeah, I, I know which that. Which is so but... awesome. They tried to merge these two timelines that like they they don't even really line up. But they said fuck it and went for it anyway, and I respect that. They did. It's it's very much like comics, where so first class takes place in 1962, Dark Phoenix place takes place in 1992. They mm-hmm, are the mm-hmm. same actors playing the same characters 30 years later, and they've aged five years, and it's so awesome. It's exactly what I want because that's what comics are. Right. <laughs> like every, everybody looks the fucking same age, but. Anyway, um, then after sobering up and after watching Dark Phoenix, I then had to drive my friend to the airport at 6 in the morning. Mm. So um, I just stayed up until 6 in the morning, uh, which was a miscalculation, I'm going to be honest, because then I just woke mm. up at 1 in the afternoon today, and uh, my day's oh. gone. Well, that's not. That could be worse. Um, anyway, what are you up to? Uh, what am I up to? I, uh, I, got, uh, I got a new anime lady sitting on my desk. I saw that. I posted pics on my Twitter account. Go there. Check it out. You seem very proud of her. I could not be more proud of my little, my little lady, my littlest lady. I, it took longer than I thought. I thought it was, I thought time to anime girl would be much shorter than that. But I already had one. Oh, okay. Fair. But the big, big booby one. I don't have a big booby one yet. There you go. Yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, so you got anime lady. Um, we're, we're going. To, we're going lady. to the woods. Have you decided how long you're going to go to the woods for? Well, I don't want to. Um, I mean, I want. You know, it's your cabin. You should. You know, let me know when I should. Which, you know, kick me out when you want to meditate or whatever. Whatever you do. Yeah, I, there. I. I, I want to. I just gotta watch all the X Men movies when you leave. So. Um, in the woods. My my lap and my laptop in the woods. <laughs> On a single charge, you're gonna marathon them. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna a, turn it surface, you're gonna baby. you're gonna turn it to eco mode and watch them with like frame skips <laughs> frame, uh, frame skipped it lowest also brightness so dark. You, have to, you have to have one of those little like worm lights the edge for your game boy because this lcd is so low you're holding it in uh, the sun to see <laughs> oh god uh what you fishing drinking and watching the x-men movies is like the perfect combination of things to do <laughs> you hate fishing uh i i figured out the thing that i hate about fishing it's touching the fish Yes, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna bring gloves. I will be bringing gloves. To <laughs> that fish. was the only barrier. Yeah, yeah, it's the slimy barrier. I was also a, thinking a... of I was thinking of catching and eating a fish. So I looked up the the idea of fishing out of a pond grosses me out. Not a lake for some reason, but a pond is like yeah, I don't know. So I just on a to- like uh, just really um, really swinging for the fences. Just checked the EPA website. And oh it has every body of water. And that pond totally got fucking uh, inspected in 2014, and it's all clean. Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, good. it has every body of water? I mean, there's a, I mean, if it has that one, it must have got all of them, right? Like, that's crazy. There are well, so many. Uh, yeah, so, so. Yeah, you can eat that shit. It said, like, yeah, you can eat out of it, you can bathe in it, whatever. Oh, believe me, I bathe in it plenty. Uh, so what are you gonna, how are you going to cook it? What are you gonna make? Um, I'm gonna. Well, what do they have up there? I figure it's like um, they're not smallmouth bass, right? They gotta be like they perch are, or something. They are smallmouth bass. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably. I don't know if I want to fillet it. I don't know. I probably get. Yeah, I probably have to though, right? Oh, I don't. Nothing I, I think you do. have to. It, it's gonna be a very large fish. Yeah, I don't want to. Like scaling it seems like a just as big of a pain in the ass as 
as as uh, as filleting it. So I'll probably just fillet it. Yeah, I got I got some ideas. For, yeah, for I'm some. trying to think of what I'm gonna cook. I might do some good morning burgers. Ooh. I might do I might do like a a little uh, fried egg bacon uh, kind of deal on some Texas toast, maybe. That's good. You take care of breakfast. How like I mean you you're staying up there like over a week. So you're are you bringing like 14, 20 meals <laughs> somehow or what? Well, I'm on that OMAD shit, dude. I only need the one meal a day. Are you really? Uh, what? Of course I am. That's why you sound so not, why you sound so disingenuous. Uh, no, I, 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 I'm trying it. Uh, what are your thoughts? Tell me about OMAD. I just, oh, I thought you were joking. No, I don't really have any thoughts about OMAD. No, I'm doing OMAD <laughs> okay. um, currently. Um, it's actually not that difficult. Yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't sound like, you know, yeah. I uh, it, it, what the thing is is that you immediately stop eating garbage food because you have to pack two thousand calories into one meal, and if you eat two thousand calories of like Cheetos that's and not, pizza, that's not good. That's exactly right. So I found myself putting like bell peppers and zucchinis into my meals, and it's uh, it's good, it's good. I don't know how long I'll keep it up for, but uh, I don't know. Pro- probably, I'll probably uh, try it for like two and, weeks until you, until you're. T- with me in the woods because i'm not like <laughs> i'm not switching to to oh man have to well i know I, I I probably know. i'm also it's a vacation so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat everything at my within arm's reach and i'll be drunk the entire time so it's not like i have much of a choice you better yeah, um, yeah that's what remind me we, that's what we should do um uh if at some point when we get bored up there we should uh, watch the third of these movies in between and <laughs> when we get bored we can just record an episode about it or just uh I'm just lounging by the fire just beer in a beer near coma yeah yeah that sounds good we should record on a boat <laughs> we should be in the on middle the, of on the, the canoe water. yeah <laughs> that would <laughs> that would that would add no audio like there would be no way to t- we could just say that we could be we could be t- well, well, then we have, we have to paddle around. It's like you know, I, I'm tired of this scenery. Let's paddle over here. <laughs> oh, this is giving me it, a new perspective. It's gonna be nothing things. but bullfrogs on the fucking recording. <laughs> Holy shit, those Ooh. things are loud. Beavers slapping their tails in the water. Ooh, you really hear that up there? Oh yeah, that sounds rad. Oh yeah, yeah. It, sometimes there's a beaver family that lives near the pond. Um, family. Sounds yeah, family really beavers, cool. dude. Well, it's got to be a name for a group of beavers, right? Like a silly, uh, yeah, a gaggle or something. No, uh, it's uh, it's, it's got a, it's something. Okay, oh, that's you know. Wait, what? Oh, that's not the animal. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah, you're probably seeing Beaver Family, 1974, which is uh, my my mm-hmm. favorite black exploitation porn. Oh, a group of beavers is called a colony. That's not very col- interesting. I'm I into was, it. I was thinking col- it was colony implies a level of settlement that I like. Well, I, the one I saw, the first results, which isn't correct, is uh, is um, uh, a, uh, a a scouting, but that's not it. I thought that would be cool. But that's that's like a Boy Scouts thing. Oh, Angry Mage, oh, I, I also see. have a Chino figure. Wait, is there is there a Beaver Scout? I don't know. That's the only rank I would attain if I was in the Boy Scouts. You'd be surprised that's how easy you... it is to become a wee blow. <laughs> Oh God! What? I was a wee blow. They, they were simpler times. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No oh boy. Uh, you know, I feel like you would get bullied by. Did you get bullied by the other Boy Scouts because you were a blow? It's like uh, everyone was a wee blow. No, it's no. It's, you blow. You blow. We blow. We all blow. Or we blow. Yeah. Uh, we watched. A, we watched a series of films. Two of them. Uh, a a, ser- a two of a series of three films. Yes. Because we ain't got time for. What are we gonna do? Watch three films one day? I uh, yeah, I'm doing other shit. That's too much. What do you expect us to plan ahead? Uh, Fucking certainly not. So uh, we watched uh, 
the we we watched Kizu Monogatari. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm just I'm reading the chat here. Our extremely busy chat. Oh my uh, god! Are you, we got we we have all these engagements with our content. Yeah. Oh, I did used to say bye to my Chino figure whenever I left the house. Boy, people remember things, huh? That even I don't remember. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think that was a joke. I think I was... let me let me tell you about. I think that was a remember quote unquote other joke. Remembering things that you don't remember. <laughs> okay. My entire life. <laughs> oh really? Uh, nah, not really. Oh, okay. I don't. I certainly don't remember like anything from the year 2014 to 2017. That's gone. Um, I, uh, I, I have things I associate with most years. I don't know. Ask me anything about any year. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Tell me about 2005. 2005. Um, I was, uh, I was 10. Which yes. meant I was probably playing some baseball 2005 baseball year boom those home, there you go those home runs, 2005 huh? is the year i hit a home run once yes i uh, remember did you ever get coached by that guy who owns a breakfast place in our town of course oh yeah okay totally. he was your he coach had very, too. he had very very hairy knuckles <laughs> uh and i told you about how my dad is friends with him yes and uh we eat at his breakfast place a lot so he's always telling me stories about this guy who used to be our baseball coach he goes the first time he met him first time my dad met him um uh what was he uh what was he saying to him they're just like meeting for the first time and the guy goes uh, what time is it my dad goes uh it's uh it's 5 20 and he goes too bad it's not 4 <laughs> 20 and my dad my dad's like what and then he hands my then he hands my dad a tennis racket <laughs> what <laughs> my dad's like what and he goes yeah. five balls like oh I, okay <laughs> this is uh that's very much in line with everything that I've heard. <laughs> he's, he's like the best character in town he has a basement full of yeah, chainsaws because he, he just resells them he's so good yeah he's he is truly his, his kids are normal <laughs> which is the weird thing <laughs> all of his kids are totally they're actually like achievers it's so strange not to say that i mean he owns a business so i guess he's yeah he seems like a, doing, a very savvy great. guy he's selling power tools he's definitely uh um the type that takes up every man jobs though like that's just oh yeah but you can't ask for a better one because you could get like the dopey one you know like who's just kind of like a little he's like decent at things but this guy's a fucking uh a character truly a character he rules anyway um he yeah makes we watch great buns he makes great buns those are good ass breakfast sandwiches good buns um some people, you know, really crazy about his pancakes. I think they're good. I like a fluffier pancake, though. I don't know. I like a crunchy pancake. Okay. Wow. That's more. You're you just like waffles, man. Uh, yeah. I, I think okay. waffles are the the. Well, waffles are good. French toast is the best. That's a, that's kind of a different thing, but yeah, I'm into it. Uh, well, if in the tr- in the trio of you know breakfast, not pastries, but you get the idea. Like sure. It's it's like waffles, pancakes, and French toast. I think French toast is far and away the best. Mm. You can do the most with French toast. I believe it. Okay. Um, Keys of Monogatari is a, a light novel. I think it was just one, but they made it into three movies because there's too much going on. Uh, Mr. Nisio Eason. It's a palindrome. Cause he's, oh my God. He's a clever writing guy. He did this, and he did Katana Guitari, which you probably heard of. Yes. Which has a similar name, not in the same series. Um, yes. Medaka Box. Who, who remembers Medaka Box? I remember when people thought that was good. Um, yeah, I saw that in a bunch of lists at one point, and never. I'm like, I'm not gonna watch this. And she, I, it, it, that was, but that was uh, that, that's Gynax right after all the yes. Trigger people left, so it's the really purge. weird. It's because it looks <laughs> a lot like a. Gynax show, but it doesn't have any of the stuff. Yes. Very strange. Um, but the Monogatari series, besides Katana Guitari, is a series of, of books, lots of books, lots of shows. Um, yeah, what the fuck, dude? Uh, yeah, so Bake Monogatari aired in 2009. Okay. And then following. Big Gap, Nisei Monogatari in 2012. And then they okay. never fucking stopped making them. 
Um, okay, so these are television shows still. These are television shows. Okay. But the entire time all these seasons are airing, dozens and dozens of episodes airing, um, Kizu Monogatari is in development hell. It was announced in like 2011 or 2010 or something. It was vaporware forever. It was a huge meme. It was Where is Kizu? Released. Uh, Kizu fi- is, is chronologically the first? Kizu is a prequel. We were getting okay. that. For God's okay. sake, don't ruin my... I have this okay, all okay, okay. planned. I don't actually. Um, but it was finally released 2016 to 2017. Uh, so, yeah, it took a f- fucking while. And yes, it is a prequel to everything. So I figured it'd be a good place to start because throughout the years, every time this series comes up, you've asked me, what is this actually about? And I go, uh... <laughs> and now you know everything. Oh. Okay. Now you understand. Um, now you understand one twentieth of what's going on. You know, I'm I'm going through the Wikipedia page. My brain is starting to hurt because I'm seeing stuff like Kabuki Monogatari. They all end in Monogatari. Monogatari <laughs> Zokuwo Mwari Monogatari. So I don't Royal know. Mon- <laughs> I, I, it it seems like it, it, they so they 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 adapt all the books. But they collect a bunch from into like one season. So Baki Monogatari was by itself. So was Nisei Monogatari. But like a bunch of other ones, and Hana Monogatari was just uh, grouped into something called Monogatari series second season, which I watched all the way. I watched everything up to that, and I watched second season. And then they since like 2014, they've been doing what's called final season. But it's been five years, so I don't know if they're just gonna because they got like a dozen more books. I don't know if there's gonna be 200 episodes in this final season. But uh, or it could just be ending because Zoku Oari Monogatari is finishing up this month. That was a coincidence. I wasn't even thinking about that. But uh, last episode's airing in like a week, so that's cool. I mean, it's all good. It's not even that. Once you uh, get it in the right order and download them, then you just watch them. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, yeah. It's one of those things where I need like a some helpful dude to make a PDF. Oh, there's got to be a Wikipedia. There's a or or a, a wiki. Yeah, there's a list of what order they're in somewhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just watched the, going chronological, going to Haruhi, reverse order, whatever, um, <laughs> and just hitting up this first one, which I've not seen. order this bullshit, let's go. Yes, sure. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I kind of knew everything that happened in this, but it was neat. You, get you had to, seen this. You get introduced. Or you had not seen this. I've not seen this. Okay. But uh, you get the gist from the rest of the series because they're always bet, yeah. they're always referring to the events of Spring Break, and this is finally, hey, what happened on Spring Break? And uh, and what did you think? You're the guy who this is your first. This is introduction to Monogatari. First, first gut instinct hyper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go. Yeah, right off the dome. I'm, I'm off the reacting dome. to it as it's happening. Yeah. Um, I had no idea what the fuck Monogatari was. Straight Good. up. Perfect. Like, period. Yes. Um, I thought it was a show. I thought it was gonna be a harem. I thought it was gonna be a harem with a bunch of different monster girls. Yeah, it is. You only meet. You don't even meet the main girl in these movies. <laughs> um. Uh. And uh, there's I like there's like ten girls, and you meet one of them. I thought it was going to be a series of like increasingly perverted events. It is. Okay. Oh, okay. Just um, not in just not in here. Yeah, I thought um there I saw the toothbrush scene, of course, iconic. Oh, okay. Um and uh I um I didn't see no Shinobu or whatever her name is. Uh Okay. And uh yeah, I I did not expect fighting. There's a lot of combat mm. in this. And I knew but I had no idea that it was going to be the entire purpose of this was to be stylized. At least that was my take, is that, like, I think um, this is very style first, which is not uncommon for Shaft. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, it is, like, I, I, the first the first film is actually, like, uh, pretty... It's not that out there. The second one gets goes a little bit crazy, but... The first episode, if you're telling me like the basic outline of it, uh, is pretty similar to other concepts in anime. But they draw everything out and do everything so huge and explode it to such like a grand cinematic scale 
You know, like it, it's a the the they're the biggest scenery, like the biggest locations. They're the most drawn out moments. <laughs> they're the most explosive reactions. It is just like oozes style. It, that's exactly what this thing does. Um, and I definitely I I enjoyed it. Uh, that being said, sometimes it, it got a little. It would just hang on certain things that, like in other shows, would be done in three, four minutes at a time, which can mm-hmm. be a little bit of a drag. But I was uh, I was pretty into it. I I definitely liked the the whole style of the thing and enjoyed what it was doing. Yeah, it's it's extremely shafty. Yes. Um. In that, uh, yeah, everything is is. Uh, yeah, the settings are huge and completely like wrong. They're just uh, a void of of people. There's a no. Yeah, it's you're, like you're a, playing a vacuum. In, you're playing in an undesigned video game level that has that doesn't have any of the any of the details put in yet. It's a, a, everything's huge and fresh out the package. They're almost um, like a, they're like, almost like different. The settings don't connect. Like you just kind of end up in the different like location and like, okay, we're back at this kind of sunsetty like uh riverside or we're at this school, you know, like they don't, I don't feel like they, they almost exist in different realms. It's almost dreamlike in that way where I feel like you kind of transition from place to place and it's not necessarily kick, like it doesn't even exist in the same world. Also the world itself is very, very surreal and that it's almost always night or sunset. It's like the most dramatic situation that could possibly set something in all the time. Yeah, and again, very shafty. Like it's very similar to Madoka. It's uh, it's it's like, and it's always just, it's always completely unpopulated. You never see anyone besides the main characters. Like, uh, every you're always just in an abandoned building somehow. Yeah. Uh, you're never like you're never gonna see anyone in this series interact with like a cashier. Correct. <laughs> uh, like uh, it's it's just only the, you you don't see any in between uh, events, which is is really I think pretty unique. I mean, obviously other shaft things have done this, but I can't think of much other media I've consumed where there is no tertiary. There's only the core events taking place. Like that's it, yeah. uh, and that and- allows them to to shed that bullshit in favor of making every interaction between the characters that much more dramatic. Yeah, and and if if you can believe it the the rest of this is actually less wordy than most of the series. Huh. Like um or uh maybe this maybe a similar amount of words but they there's a lot more like I don't want to say like philosophical dialogue but there's a lot more conceptual talk rather than exposition yes. and a lot more um it gets a lot more fourth wally and meta. Very, it really like, it dabbles it. It dips its toe into it at times throughout this. Like yeah. I got a feel for like wh- what that would feel like if we were actually there. Specifically at the end of the second episode, which we'll obviously get to. But when um, when our characters are just talking about uh, <laughs> you know why they why they do certain things and uh, shit like that. Yeah, you um, get a lot more of that, and then usually the series is sort of punctuated by these very quick uh moments of hyper violence <laughs> hyper shocking uh yes. violence which there's more of in here because this is sort of the this is supposed to be you know it's, he's getting involved with the supernatural so he's going to get real fucked up which he does it's, really uh, it, it is um it's significantly more it's darker than i would have thought like I knew the show would be kind of like uh, lascivious or grotesque, but I did not expect it to be as genuinely dark and twisted. I will as, also say this one: this one is considerably darker than the rest of the series. He's he, okay. Araragi's a lot more emo in this one. Like he's yes. kind of a goofball in the rest of the series, but he's he's dealing with some shit, you know. In yeah. This one. Uh, so yeah, he's well, very. I mean, this is this is like when now. everything's going down. You know, I'm sure once he gets into the routine of being a vamp then it, it'll be a little bit more, you know, commonplace for him and a little bit more. But the, as it stands, this, is, this shit's uh, pretty heavy at times. Yeah, it's more violent. And it's also even more stylized, like, or, or it's, 
the, he, it, the city he lives in is Art Deco in this one for some reason. It's not like that in the rest of the series. Not at all. I don't. I don't know if it's Art Deco. Why are the old cars driving around like the fucking That's Model the only T's? thing I can think of. Yeah, uh, I guess they, they, this is weird hmm. black and white shots of. I mean, there's a lot of noir. They flash on the screen, like, but yes, yes. They, he lives in this. Constantly. He lives in this weird, like, old industrial, like, depression era city, and <laughs> just in this, in these movies. There's a yeah, like if you see the landscapes in the distance, it is like just endless machinery, endless, endless factory. You yeah. know, alongside of a river, it's a. Uh, Really, it, it I, they're they're pretty unique landscapes. It does it, this it just doesn't exist in in a reality that we're familiar with. No, yeah, it's a it's a weird place. Uh, uh let's see what else is going on. Um, so we talked about Araragi. What about the uh, the girl here? Hana. Uh, well, she she got a Hana, Hanakawa. Hanakawa. Yeah. Hanakawa? Um, uh, she is stacked. <laughs> first of all, first of all, make big udders. Um, see, uh, is seemingly innocent at first, but has that kind of twisted sensibility to her, where she just does things that no human being would ever do, like uh, like handing Araragi her, her panties and being like, "Give these back to me," and it's just part of that weird kind of dreamlike kind of atmosphere um yeah, everyone everyone's acting like they're in a light novel almost on purpose as a uh, wink to you you know yes it, it's a uh, it's kind of uncanny she does things at times that that are like cutesy and air quotes you know but it, 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 they'll they'll jump to sequences that are like that whereas most of the time it's pretty grounded but then it'll move to slow motion and she's walking and she's tilting her head to the side and she's got like the little kitty mouth thing going on, you know, and those are just distinct moments in the show. It's fucking weird. Uh, I, I liked her. I, I don't think she necessarily has as much character as the other characters do in this. I like it like a uh, cool bent over cigarette man and uh, and and uh, <laughs> lolly vamp. His name is meme. How could you forget? Uh, I I uh, I always forget the memes. Oh, I, I'm not the meme lord I once was. Okay, um, getting old. Uh, yeah, I I I do genuinely like the friendship that that they've developed by the end of the the second episode. I, it feels it feel flirtation, you know, okay. but it feels genuine to me. Uh, and it feels organic, especially considering where we started from in the beginning of the first episode, where. He was totally put off and uh, just didn't really know what to make of her. She she's got manic pixie, pixie dream girl thing going on, but it's a little bit more organic than that. It doesn't seem as forced. Well, she she hints that like she is doing that knowingly, right? Like as a yeah. sort of uh, a, as a expedient or what's the word? You know, uh, a, a, she calls it self interested. This is a this is a new uh, on, this is a new kind of media to me. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't pick up on a lot of a lot of subtleties. A lot of this was me taking in the style of what was happening more so than actually like being able to parse everything that was going on. Yeah, this shit looks That's, crazy. The cameras always moving and the backgrounds are the backgrounds are so CG that it's almost like like it is in like an artistic style that it's just mm -hmm. the fucking CGest shit ever. The show has a cinema. Or this film franchise has a cinematographer. It's it, like it, like a an actual position rather than like just like lead animator or director. They have a cinematographer credit, which is crazy to me because it means specifically you have somebody designing these shots. You know, oh. um, it was not the director. I thought that was neat. Um, you have a lot of shots. It makes sense. Uh, but yeah, like I. I don't. I can't necessarily say I picked up on all the subtlety because I was just kind of learning how to consume this piece of media that you've obviously lived with for a while. Uh, uh, but well, yeah, her. To, her to, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say. Luckily, it is a simple, pretty simple story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I got the, you know, her saying that she does these things uh, in a self-serving way, and that like it's part of 
you, you do them knowing that it'll be taken a certain way. I thought that was interesting. Like almost like the facade that she puts up, but I, I think it comes from a yeah. genuine place. And the rest of the series is about him helping all these girls with their with their paranormal problems and she gets her own arc which which does deal with that so that gets a a resolution i will say hanakawa Hana, hanakawa is probably the most unfortunate character in this entire series she gets fucked over Uh-oh. her life sucks yeah i mean she gets fucking mutilated in this oh yeah so, like uh, which was not as shocking as it probably could have been but i think that's probably the point like at this point, everything is so extreme that her getting <laughs> just exploded is is like in line with everything that's going on, and it's this this show is all or this you know film, these series of films are always in this kind of extreme realm to where that didn't affect me the way that it would in other media, which is kind of interesting. I think, um, you know, if you're watching something, it would be like a really shocking moment, almost to the point of being like edgy and something else. But that's just part of this it makes sense here um yeah i don't know that's that's my thoughts on her and so and it, it's like part of this series style is that it's like it's not based in reality but you know it has it's it has like rules but sometimes it'll as a visual gag go into full cartoon mode yes and it'll have non-literal things happening on the screen which uh, is fun, but it could be kind of confusing. Like, there's one scene where he gets so horny that he just starts running, and he's he turns running into a bullet train. He's running as fast as a train, and I'm thinking, wait, is he a vampire yet? No, he, and I, yeah, I was confused because he's not. But that I was like, oh, that was a joke. That was a bit, uh, yeah, because of his because of his boner. But but like that, it's still visceral when she gets you know fucking destroyed. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I know God. I knew she was gonna be okay. But this is this is do. fever dream shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, the first the first scene is him on fire. If that's not a fever dream. It's not. <clears throat> I, I I I it's just the material if you were to read it. Like I don't know how this would read as a light novel. You know, like it's, uh, it's like uh it's I think the closest comparison I would make, I've seen I've watched the show, which you know how um, it does the shaft. Well, I don't, I don't even think Fla- uh, shaft does this in other shows, but it flashes words on the screen on these blank yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do that a lot more in the, in the shows, and sometimes they'll just flash like whole sections of the book on screen, rapid fire, like one, one frame at a time. Uh, so I've read fuck? I've read chunks of that, and I've read chunks of it translated into English. I think the best reference point would probably be like a Lemony Snicket, like a like a sort Dark of fairy tale like type a, of shit. Like, like a sort of like a sort of sarcastic, sort of fourth wally, like going into three pages of detail on one very overly specific thing type of writing, you know. Hmm. So this is that you know kind or, of translated into the end of the screen. Yeah, or or, ca- or characters talking really long about one uh, very small thing, uh, or mm. or some aspect of their personality and going into hypotheticals for a very long period of time. That type of fun. Yeah, stuff that, that kind of like postmodern shit, like uh, people. Yeah, people making puns in dialogue. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah. It seems like they did a good job of translating that. Then it's it's something else. It's I'm really kind of was rocked by it. <laughs> like going into going into the second one, I was like in a trance state, basically. Or just images are flashing on the screen. Te- Noir has popped up for the 80th time, and I don't even blink anymore. And I'm just just. Uh, yeah, I've watched many something. seasons of this, and even not like this. These movies, are, even I was like, whoa. Boy, this is, uh, and it's very well animated. Uh, like in, there's a lot of shots that are crazily well animated. But then they apparently, for some such, they're like, yeah, let's, we don't need to draw them walking. Let's make those. Well, yeah, they'll, they'll just it, it'll it'll go off model at times. Mm-hmm. There there's stuff in this that's rotoscoped. It just jumps around so much, and uh, it's yeah, just and they don't even life. really try to make the characters match the backgrounds of the surroundings because they just no, like they no, just no. like that not I in guess. the cgi ones like the ones with them like he's in the house at the beginning or something like that and he's just floating through this cgi hallway basically <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh it's really crazy 
uh, it looks uh, like know. a looks like a Cartoon Network bumper from the mid two thousands, or like one of those pictures where someone's put an anime girl into like a Russian apartment or like a train station, and it doesn't really mm. they don't really try to like match the colors or anything. It's just like fuck it. Yeah. Um. um what was I? What was I gonna say? Top ten mind fuck anime that you can watch right now on Netflix. Everything's a Number mind one. fuck. Monogatari. Anyone who's ever used the word mind fuck thinks everything is a. They live inside a mind fuck. Yeah, they might just be constantly on acid or something, or they I might think just have. That's probably what most brain. people are going through. Yeah. They're just like everything's a mind fuck. They just can't comprehend their surroundings whatsoever. Oh yeah, no. Top top, top ten mind fuck books. Number one, Tom Sawyer. You see, number two, you see, you see two things, and it's like, oh shit, that's a pattern. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna go crazy now. How do these compare? What? How? How can these objects exist in the same space? Oh, they're gone. Oh wait, I just turned around. Oh shit, fucking just omnis object permanence is broken. Yeah, yeah there's nothing. <laughs> uh, nothing there. I, you know, this is a d- drastic change of pace from Sailor Moon. <laughs> How how far into Sailor Moon are you? I have like ten episodes in. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm also I've also been watching NHK, uh, which is again uh, welcome. Well, I finally started watching Welcome to the NHK. I I'm like I want to watch this back in 2013, and, and uh, here I am. Yeah, finally consuming it. Um, and uh, that sh- that show gets a little out there at times, but Jesus Christ, like this is that that's the. It's like the art behind this is is uh, the art of being out there and uh, just kind of playing with form and the medium in a really cool way. This is or NHK is? This is. This oh, okay. is. NH- NHK has sequences that'll get out there, but it's not like constant. Like this commits to it, you know? It's yeah. not just like a, a, se- a series of sequences that are strange. It is, as a product, really bizarre. Um, which I like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're never gonna finish it, any of those shows. I could fin- well Sailor Moon. I'd be amazed. <laughs> that's that's like five seasons, but uh, I'm doing I mean, making progress in HK. It's gonna happen. Well, we should do an episode on it when you're done. I'll watch it. There you go. How do you even relate to that? You're a, you're a normie. Um, I don't know. There there are certain things that even normies like myself engage in that uh, can be related to that. You know. Sometimes you wake up a little bit late and you're like, damn, I didn't do anything today. I feel like such a loser. <laughs> I'm going to watch Welcome to the... I'm just, he's just like me. Oh, man. I'm uh, inside. I, you also, also empathy. Empathy is something that helps with that, where it's like, well, I didn't experience this myself, but I, I could probably imagine what it would be like. It's, em- it it's empathy day to day. You got 48 more minutes. I don't think that's even a lie. What? 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 Wait, what? Look up Empathy Day. Empathy Day. Boom! I nailed it. June eleventh, baby. Empathy. Oh, it's the twelfth. Fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Was your birthday Empathy Day? Yes, it was. Hell yeah! I get. Hey, you you weren't lying. Yes. You're the empathy boy. That's me. That's the only thing that I experience. <laughs> I cannot feel for myself. <laughs> yeah, you don't experience your own. <laughs> no, I, my life is uh, but a series of events that I pass through without feeling anything. But... That's an Oscar-winning film right there. There you go. Uh, you ever, you ever need one. The man who felt too much. <laughs> <laughs> Writing that it's down. Like, Ethan, Ethan, let me help you. It's like, I don't need to be helped. Everyone help else needs help. Need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helping, I gotta start helping you helps me. I'm I'm gonna start a school for gifted children, and Uh-oh. they're gonna come live here. Uh oh, sneak reboot. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I can't gonna... wait for the, I can't wait for them to tie the Marvel Cinematic Universe version, the X Men, into the previous two versions. How? That's gonna be sweet. How do you feel so much empathy, Xander Xavier? <laughs> Xander's xylophone, Xavier. Actually, actually, that is a part of the part of those films is that he feels everybody's pain and he has to learn to block it. He, he's just like Madoka. Yep, it's his strength, it but back also his weakness. Sha- Everything ramps back around a shaft. 
everything. It's shaft I, every, all the way I'm down. I'm currently wrapped around that shaft. Nice. I feel it. I feel. I feel my the little, shaft. My little pig in a blanket. I call it. Ugh. Uh, what else is going on in these? I don't. One thing that I didn't know about, despite knowing a lot about this series, is I'd um, these uh these villains they don't come back. Uh. Uh, these uh these vampire hunters. Oh yeah. They're kind of yeah. throwaway. They have funny names though. Uh, episode. Not episode. Fucking... Oh wait, it is episode, isn't it? Aha! Jesus, how horrible! But guillotine cutter is amazing because it's so yes. redundant. <laughs> and one of them's not liturgy. What is it? Dem- uh, Demer- uh, dem- demeter- uh, dramaturgy. Dramaturgy. Is that um, a word? Yes, it is. Oh, it the is theory and the practice idea. of dramatic composition. That's cool. Yes. Yes. Not not necessarily applicable. They the parents might have been a little bit off giving Mr. Dramaturgy his name. He's kind of a dramatic guy. Uh yeah, I guess at the end he gets pretty dramatic. He was like, Oh my god, please spare me. Yeah. Uh episode Um He has kind of a tantrum. Not really. I don't know. Mm, that's a stretch. Yeah. You know what? Maybe they just like the way those English words sound and used them. And the guillotine cutter is just a guy. Yeah, yeah never mind. These, this series bullshit. Done. Zero out of ten. Um, oh, the Mon- it turns out the Monogatari series sucks. They got little girls running around with their pussies out. That can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have no wait, idea, my friend. <laughs> they, this, wait, wait a minute. Is this one of those etchy series is this one of those lonely cons that i've heard so much about uh hold on Mr. no it's president. okay but it's it's meta they make <laughs> jokes president, about we it we gotta no it's on purpose we gotta do it again they've been bad they've been so so bad they've we, been bad they've been very bad we've, they're we showing had... little girls pussies on the tv can you believe it these monster people with their monogatories showing little girls pussies I won't have it. <laughs> was that supposed to be Trump? No. Oh, okay. I was trying to no, do no, Trump no. earlier. I saw that. Oh. <laughs> I saw what you were going for. What were you supposed to? What were you doing? That's just me, baby. Oh, that's just you. That's your genuine <laughs> feelings. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, that's Yeah, uh, me too. I hate when they show the little girl's <laughs> butt. It's all like pink. It's like got the little... Like, <laughs> There's like, a lot like, of how pink. Did even, how did you even get sunburned there? It's it's all covered. In the in Bakke, she puts a band aid on it, so it's fine. On her on her butt? No, on her here. I'll. Oh. I'll put. I'll oh, I'll, no. I'll post it. Hold on. Um. Did you find this on one of those sand panda websites that I've heard so much about? <laughs> sand panda. <laughs> uh, I forgot how. Good, I mean, I don't approve of this, but. Uh. Pokemon guitar he looks damn good here. This is a, this is a one frame in a very quick, you know, series obviously. Like this happens. This is literally a single frame, but Oh my god, I'm going to get arrested. Yeah, you're going to jail, buddy. Oh no, no. I was at this. I swear I wasn't looking oh, this don't, up. Oh, don't don't hey, I'm not I hope it doesn't accidentally end up on our street. Oh no. Oh, that was I put it on the wrong monitor. I've been doxxed. Oh my god. I'm implicated. Yeah, yeah. I'm implicated in this Tom Foolery. <laughs> That's what you call it. This series has got a lot of just rabble rousing. Tom Foolery, if you know what I mean. Um, what were we, what were we talking about? Uh, I don't know. This series is pretty good. Some people like it way more than I do, but I like it. It was good to get back yeah, to yeah. it since I've fallen I- off of it since like. 2014. Now I understand what all those gifts and webums I've seen for the past five years uh, were about. Um, I've seen so many webums from this series since I stopped watching. I feel like I almost don't need to watch it. But uh, I think most of the show since I fell off is slow motion shots of girls taking their pantyhose off. Because there's, oh, like, okay. there's like five of those. Uh, uh, so... Where's the the is this the, the vampire with the long blonde hair? Is this her? That's kiss shot areola 
whatever <laughs> whatever her name is. Vagisil. They, she, okay. they end up just he he names her Shinobu. Okay, that's a much more succinct name. I that, can understand why you would go with that. That's her. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a spoiler since you know you know she ends up a little girl again, but. Yeah, I kind of figured. It seems reminiscent enough, and like, I it's not like I'm going to consume all of this. So, uh, uh, it's pretty good. I give it. A, it was cool to see it. I'll definitely thought. watch the third film, and yeah, then at I'll least watch uh, the third one. Once, once I'm done watching all of Sailor Moon through Sailor Moon V, all the way to Sailor Moon Crystal. Jesus, that's so much. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm still at the point where like, there's no other Sailor Scouts. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like what? How would they go this long without building up the team? I just don't get it. Oh, there's not even... There, there, there is Sailor Moon, and that's it right now. Holy shit, and... what? Wow, they really yeah. changed it, huh? Because I watched the first episode or two of like Sailor Moon Crystal, which is supposed to be the more accurate one, and there's like a second one in the first episode. Well, there's Sailor V, who is yeah. an actor. She's like an actress, but she's not actually playing a role yet. She's not doing any superheroing. Okay, but um, she is a character. We haven't met her. She's just oh. like on billboards and yeah. they have like a like an arcade game of her. Yeah, yeah. every episode is basically the same, which is that Sailor Moon, like the, the dark forces exploit a girl's weakness, whether yeah. it's like wanting to lose weight or get a boyfriend and use that to siphon their power. And then Sailor Moon uh, gets sucked into it, but then realizes what's going on. <laughs> And uh, over to the topples of the evil forces, kills a bad guy, throwing her tiara by saying uh, uh, um, a moon tiara action. And uh, are you watching the dub? Uh, oh fuck yeah, I'm watching the dub. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you're watching with, with the New York accents. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not watching the dick dub. I'm watching. I'm watch. I wish I Speak. could. It's 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 just not available in decent quality anywhere. Um, oh, was there a newer like Funimation dub or something? So, so the thing was is that I made the decision to watch the newer Funny dub or Viz dub or whatever because mm. um, um, it's the Dick one um, will cut a lot of content out, and I wanted to consume it, you know, oh, all yeah. of the content. Yeah, I and feel then like once that's... I'm done with this, if I really, really like the show, which I so far have, I will go back and watch the Deke dub Damn. because I think it would be a hoot. Yeah, older dubs are like, you know, objectively worse, but you're going to find there's a lot more chunks of gold in there, you know, when it really yes. comes around like that weird Canadian Dragon Ball Z dub with, with oh, our favorite yeah. clip. Uh, what, what does he say? How can you destroy the whole planet Vegeta? Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, he wants to die. Having the solid. How could you do this to Freezer? Ha! How could you do it? Oh yeah, okay. I was I was trying to think of the punchline there. How, why did you do it? Uh, uh, the so, the Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, yeah. I've I I'm I'm glad people online appreciate Yu Gi Oh GX as much as we do because I did not know there were so many amazing moments in that fucking dub. I didn't even know that dub was weird, but I keep seeing these clips of that guy being like, <laughs> "That girl be my type if she knew what a sandwich was." And I'm like, "What the fuck <laughs> are they doing?" And the, there's one at one point, one of the voice actors just says "fuck it" and starts doing a terrible Arnie impression. Yes. Uh, <laughs> have you have you followed that YouTube page, Ruggington? I haven't followed it, been... but I watched a couple of the clips when you posted it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been he's been compiling a lot of great stuff from the Yu-Gi-Oh series that needs to be. We have to, you know. Yeah, we we've you know this. we've watched we've gone on a couple of GX binges, but like I didn't know that if you keep going, you just fucking hit solid up. gold. Yeah, they, they give just up give too up. soon. Yeah. Um, I I gotta pee. I gotta pee, man. Hold on, I'll be back. I know oh, we're live. Yeah, whatever. we're live. I have to fill. Oh my god. No, nah, you don't. Have, you just talk to talk to Angry Mage. He's, I. I don't know. If, hmm. uh, let's play some music. No, that'll get copyrighted. Do I have any non-copyright music in here? Uh, let's see. Non-copyright music. Why would I have that? That's a that's a dumb thing to say. What do I got? Y'all like soundtracks? What's a what's good break music? Like something from Hidimari Sketch? What's going on? What's this? That's too cheery. We want like an intermission. Uh. Oh yeah. 
Wait, is this gonna have lyrics? I hope not. Oh, is he back? Okay. Hey, welcome back. I'm here. I was just playing some intermission music. <laughs> what were you playing? Uh, I was browsing around. I found I have the entire Hitamari sketch soundtrack. And I was just, we were just chilling out, me and Mage. There you go. That's uh, a uh, that's a comfy soundtrack. Yeah, I uh, uh, I the internet has failed me recently. It's failed me. I haven't found anything entertaining online in a. Be, wait, hold on. I'm being told to look up Star Trek Bankaran. Bank Bankarans were a humanoid Bankerin? species in the Delta Quadrant. The fuck you? Am I being? Am I being trolled? Okay, oh, they, they got... were they were they lived within the territory controlled by the Nigians. That's funny. Okay, you got me. That is funny. I don't know if that's they're... what I was supposed to be looking for. Their faces are pretty vaginal, I guess. Uh, they kind of got a they kind of got a pussy forehead. Yeah, I mean, I would I would definitely make fun of them for that if I was in that universe. I would, yeah, I would definitely come. I mean, make yeah, and that's what you, what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. What were you saying? Oh, the internet. Uh, yeah, the internet. I uh, I've been so bored with the internet for like a couple weeks now, and uh, that means I have to like read and shit, uh, or like watch movies, you know. Um, which is all right. Nigian's ships were capable of warp factor 8.2. Um, when, uh, what, what have you been doing uh, online? What, what entertainment have you been consuming? Uh, I just browsed Twitter at rules just for yeah. seven hours a day. There you go. Absorbing content. I was wondering how you produce such amazing tweets. It must be because you're a pro at this point. Oh yeah, you've seen all of it. Uh, you've yeah, seen every weird. post on Twitter. Um, I'm playing Dark Souls three. Come on, good. Uh, Did you uh, you're enjoying the Dark Souls? Yeah, it's all right. You, you listen to the black metal yet? No. Um, I wonder if that would distract me. Probably not. I should give it. A, I should give it a shot. Get you in the zone. Um. Has David watched any more Evangelion? We need to get him on another episode of that. No, he quit. He's watching Monster right now. He <laughs> he finished all of Akagi. Uh, okay. Now he's, watching, now he's watching Monster, um, which is way more boring than I like. I'm sure it's a really great show. Akagi, but, but no Kaiji, huh? Uh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking. I think he'll like Kaiji more once he watches it. But uh, who's to say? He's uh, an enigma. Who knows <laughs> with him? Monster is a long show. I saw, uh, I got to see Lightning Bolt. That oh, was yeah. cool. Yep. I got, I also met, I met the drum, uh, the bass player from Lightning Bolt. We talked for like 20 minutes. They have a show. bass player? Lightning Bolt is two people. It is a, it is a bass player and a drummer. Oh, why did I think? He plays a bass that is, uh. Oh, the, has, does the bass just sound like a fucking shredding ass guitar? He has, uh, two banjo strings on it. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Uh, that's so good. he's able to go from really low pitch to really high pitch and uh yeah. Uh he also made a game, which I did not know. Oh right. Um wait, Thumper. don't tell me. Yeah, okay. Thumper. Yes. Uh, sorry, yeah, I uh which uh I did not realize that was him. Um well yeah, that was an awesome concert. That's all I mean that was that was sick. Was it just I've are they even on a stage or are they just fucking on like the floor? They were on a stage. Uh, I think it was just they were. That was they were in the main attraction. Don't they wear masks or some weird shit? Uh, the drummer wears a mask, which he has a telephone receiver built into. That that's oh, that's he, how he kind of does the, from. the. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, I I saw him, and nobody else at the fucking venue recognized him, and I went up, and I'm like, uh, I don't want to, you know, bother you, and he's like, what are you like you're doing right now? Huh? Huh? And then got the Milky Way. And... <laughs> uh, but no, I'm like, I'm like, hey man, it's, if it's cool, I'd, I'd like to keep a picture. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. And he he said that I had the right mentality. So we, he just talked to me for 20 minutes. And like, at a certain point, I'm like, dude, am I like, like, 
I, you could go. <laughs> like, I, I've and not like I, not that I was not enjoying talking with him, but I just I did not expect him to just engage for that long. Um, and uh, super chill dude. I also saw Machine Girl, so I had to see Machine Girl, which was cool too. Machine Girl wore a skirt on stage. Is it yeah. a boy? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you you said that a little. Too, you sounded a little too excited there, in my opinion. Yeah, you know you, what? Uh, I'm excited that they could do that. That person could do whatever they that, please. Huh? They're, yeah, I bet you. Uh, you, know, I bet you I'm, I'm into people expressing themselves in whatever way they yeah, feel I like bet they you have to express yourself all over pictures of boys in, in skirts. Oh, that can't it's be real. Probably would. That's. What do you mean? It can't be real. Boys in skirts? You just said. Wait. Did Let's you just move erase on. it from your memory. I don't understand. Let's read more about Nigians. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else to talk about in this movie? This well, who's movie the creator movie? of uh, Star Trek? What's Gene something? Gene Roddenberry? Yeah. Gene. So, Gene, uh, you got these, this, you got this race, the Nigians. Uh, we gotta, you know, tell yeah, the yeah, we, have, we gotta we, give the act, we gotta give the actors some direction. What do you think they should sound like? Well, uh, I was thinking, you know, Nigians, they, uh, you know, they sort of have this strange angular lizard face and this curly hair, and oh, no. I was thinking maybe, uh, you know, maybe Nigians, you know, they. They're playing basketball. I mean, you know, whatever sport that uh, they like on their foreign planet one day. Uh, and, you know, maybe uh, they'll be carrying a boombox around. And, uh, and uh, you know, you'll walk up to one and you'll say, hello, sir. And the Nigian will, you know, maybe when, if he has a, a translator built in, he'll uh, say something along the lines of, um, I don't know, like, hey, what the fuck's up, man? Hey, what the fuck oh is my, up? Oh my god, I can't be. What the fuck oh, you doing oh here, man? Talking about little girl what the fuck you want? And, and horrible, horrible hey. racial stereotypes. Hey, this is Niggy Town. This is the stuff that gets cut from the episodes. Hey! <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> oh my god. We got yeah, pulled no, into the it void. Was, it was originally supposed to be a, a We discovered a Polaron modulator. The Chatner. You know what a Polaron modulator be? I don't think so. What are the what are the good I conspiracies so. I should be following right now? Uh, well, concave Earth, Earth, obviously. Don't fall for any of that flat Earth bullshit. I'm actually a heart earther. A what? The Earth, the Earth is shaped like a heart, not like. Oh, a, that's like, cute. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like conspiracy theories where you you uh where you just believe the nicest thing. <laughs> you choose to believe the nicest thing. That's my yeah, brand of conspiracy. The solution to global warming is puppies. Yeah, yeah. Or no, global warming isn't even real. It's just caused by all the beautiful puppies warming, warming up by snuggling well, that, up. Well, to that you. means that we have to kill the puppies. That's no, it's actually no, it's actually a good thing. Oh, because oh, all right, because puppies like to be warm. So, out scienced, bitch. Uh, well, that's, that's a good conspiracy. I like that one. Uh, I'm back into Pizzagate. Well, yeah, <laughs> obviously. I'm taking it back. <laughs> Look at that I'm heart. taking it back. I, I, I mean, you don't have to, I don't think it needs any help after the last week. Um, Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? What do you mean? Dr. Pizza? You heard about Dr. Pizza. Oh, my God. Well, are, they wait, that's, are they suppressing oh, it that hard? Oh my god. Oh wait, this is just that like that tech blogger or whatever? Yeah. It was just funny because his name was Dr. <laughs> Dr. Pizza. Oh, he's, he's tweeting again? No. What? Tweet as of June 11th. What? Yeah, it seems he, like he got his phone back. He's out on bail? That, that would be amazing. I mean, like, that's... Uh, at that point... No, that's you're yeah, on the wrong really, account. No, there's no... Pumpkin fright. Oh, June June eleventh, twenty eighteen. Yeah, that's a different year, my man. Come on. That would do. Yeah, that would do it. Um, yeah. I mean, he wanted to fuck kids or something. And uh, or something. 
His yeah, the the thing about that was that he just had really great, uh, really great old posts. He's a lot about anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone, um, oh, that was yeah, all day, just nothing but fucking, nothing but Doctor Pizza. Glass houses, my friend. Glass hey. Houses. Um. This is why we don't go live. This is uh. Hey, I, I never said it would be good. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, uh, Angry Mage, I hope you're entertained. Uh, what do uh, we, what do we, we got to plan camping. That's yeah, one thing shit. we got to, so when, when should I head up, first of all? Um, do you know when you're heading up? I'm going to head up the Thursday I get in. So I, I'm, I'm flying in on Thursday. Mm-hmm. And then. What time are you getting I, here on Thursday? Probably like four or five. Jeez, wow. You're going to be there late. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. Um mm. And then I, you could come up Friday if you want. I don't care. Um, okay. And then uh, if you want to stay through like Tuesday or something. All right. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. I did. Cool. I did take until Tuesday off. So. Great. That's perfect. That does sound yeah. perfect. I'm going to bring. Okay. Let's, I oh, care. Yes. The, more, the important stuff. I care about food. Is anyone else going to show up in that time period? There are. There are my, my friend. And his girlfriend uh, will be showing up on Saturday. Okay. And I think they're leaving Monday, maybe right. Tuesday. We'll see. Okay. You know um, if they're bringing they any will, goodies? They'll probably bring plenty of food. They like to cook. So. Okay. Uh, and then, what's up with Stephen? What's you, up with Stephen? You said you asked him. I haven't had. I haven't. I haven't contacted him. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I he I. He initially did not answer. My text. Might have to remind oh, I guess him. he's going to be busy with Tango and his sister's wedding. <laughs> oh, he did reply to you. Yeah. Was that a uh, while he, ago? He ignored me for like a solid week, though. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, uh, so, yes, he'll, he'll be busy with Tango and his sister's wedding. Hopefully, okay. we can make something happen. But So, I assume you're going to be taking, you're going to probably bring in like necessities. You're going to be, you're going to have like the bread and the eggs and shit like that. Yeah. I and mean, like, I'm, I we can also just buy shit. Go to the, convenience store which is a convenient 20 minute drive you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm gonna yeah. bring a bunch of steak Zweigels gotta yeah, bring Zweigels which I'll get uh, okay. I'll get a pack of white hots and a pack of red hots mm -hmm. that'll cover us that's cool uh, I'll, get, I'll probably get ground beef while we're up there rather than like I'll get it from the, the Carnasaria, mm -hmm. uh, and um, what else? I mean, it depends on what we want to make, right? Like, obviously, I said I want to maybe do good morning burgers or something. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm planning on having at least one meal at the because uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm probably gonna climb Mount Arab again. Hey, uh, or, names. Uh, I'm gonna climb a mountain. We're live uh, for God's oh, sake. Uh, and. Uh, there's a nice pizza place near there that I want to go to again because I want to enjoy my pizza. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I can't really cook much. I'm still pretty limited. I mean, most of it happens in a skillet okay. at this point. I'm going to bring... I might bring some ribeye. I might bring a couple New York strips. Oh, my I, God. I, it's I was, crazy. I was thinking of... I saw this trick where you buy brisket, and instead of, like, barbecuing it, you slice it really thin and marinate it, and then you can have little beef strips. I still haven't figured out how, how would I, we would even eat that, but it sounds so tasty, and I'm going to have access mm. to a grill. I don't know. Um, and I don't know. I was thinking about... You know, those. I, I, it was a horrible, impractical nightmare. It smelled like oil, and the cabin was filled with oil, but I did enjoy frying stuff. That was, <laughs> was, yeah, I never want to do that again. But it was so that funny. Was an, that was an absurd amount of oil. Like just a, <laughs> a bucket of oil. And, yeah. Uh, so what? It, um, it's for those listening. We decided to deep fry a bunch of stuff in the woods for some reason. Um, the worst we, place to do it, really. And we did it, and then Stephen was feeling lethargic, so he went outside. We were on this enclosed porch. And oh he, right. He decided to go outside to like chop firewood to work it off. And he didn't realize he was covered in fucking oil. So within like 30 oh, right. seconds, every insect in a mile radius was swarming him. And he looked like fucking pig pen. It was, 
it was like apocalyptic. It was ridiculous. And he had to like sprint back inside and we had to hold the door open for him. It was so goddamn funny. Was that a, the same or a different trip than the one where we were also covered in oil and trying to hike a mountain and we were surrounded by mosquitoes and looked like crazy hobos to those like college girls? Oh, gosh. Uh, I think it's just a safe bet that we're always covered in oil. Um, I think we secrete it. Or it at least more that, that time because we had just been in a pizza place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bug spray. There you go. There's a necessity. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, my 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 mommy went. Should I bring my, my mommy went up and uh, she changed out all the sheets on all the beds because she's just great like that. So I don't know if I can sleep in there, man. The mosquitoes fucking kill me. Where would you sleep? I don't know. My car. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's better than having, you know, a mosquito wake me up every 10 minutes. Just uh, spray yourself. It doesn't help. Yeah, helps me. No, they like my ears. They like being an inch from my ears. Uh, I, I mean, obviously we live in a, or you live in a, a legal state, so we should probably secure uh, some bud. That's, it's not, uh, it's decriminalized. What? Nobody knows that. That's true. Um, uh, yeah, we... Yeah, let me check all of my cool connections. Well, just, just you know... <laughs> I, talk, talk to the guy we were talking about earlier. The, the cafe. We only talked about one guy earlier. Like, you're fucking hiding it. <laughs> you're so terrible at this. Holy shit. What? I mean, we, we implicated him already. We stated. He, he, he had... In his own words, as you you know related relayed them, said uh, if only it was four twenty, and you should do that. Next time you go in, be oh like, that guy, what time is it? And and, uh, and I don't and, even and, know if he smokes weed. I think he. Is just I, so... He'll know somebody that that has access to it. This is a given. This is known. Uh, I think he's... I feel like I, maybe everybody knows him. Have you ever have we considered this possibility? That he's actually everywhere all at once. He's omnipresent. He's a like, popular like, guy in town. But not even just in town. I'm saying, like, everybody in the world. I, uh, no, he's like, oh, he's like Madoka, again. That's just all I think about when I think of, or Lucy. Lucy's everywhere. Madoka's everywhere. Xavier's um, everywhere. It's okay. You don't have to try to be funny, by the way. This is not going... None of this... The episode ended. This is just us live on YouTube now. So it's not a oh, problem. Believe, believe me, I've, I've, I haven't been trying to be funny for not, the entire episode. I was trying to just take in what was going on in that movie. Trying to and now feet on the ground. I've kind of... Uh, I managed to compartmentalize it. It's no longer consuming my life. I, re I realize there is a life outside of this show. Well, you do have to go back. You think, you think a baked potato would be too big a pain in the ass up there? No, it's super easy. Just throw it on the grill, dude. Well, you don't want to turn the grill on for an hour just to bake a potato. You know? Why not? Because you're gonna waste a shit ton of oh, gas. Or, or, or if you really wanted to, like, we're gonna if we have the the wood fire stove on at some point, wrap it in tin foil and just throw it on top. <laughs> like, it's not gonna be, be cold enough, enough to have the stove going. It might be. It gets pretty chilly up there. My mom was up there. She said it was like in the fifties. So, um, I guess we could probably fire see the fifties. Wear some pajamas, man. Well, yeah. if you're gonna be in the car, I was thinking about that. I was thinking, I don't know. I need, you just need some kind of rice to go with, or some kind of side to go with these steaks. What do you even eat with the steak? Just, know. just make some, uh, make some home fries. That's true. It's a bit more effort, but yeah. Yeah, it's not that much. Just put, throw a little bit of butter in a pan, some cracked pepper, some, That's true. some, uh, That's a good some idea. sea salt. Okay, let's see. We've got the forecast. Uh, it's raining the entire time we're up there. <laughs> uh, well, all right. More indoor adventures. It's, it's in more than, that's more than a week. There's no way that weather report's accurate. So. You think, you think it's bullshit? No, I mean, I don't it's I don't just trust not necessarily anyway. true. Yeah, you know. Uh, I, I think meteorologists are paid by Disney. Yeah, like my weather forecast on my, this app I have only goes to the, the 19th, so. I think, uh, I think. Disney pays meteorologists, meteorologists. To, me meteorologists to come up with bad forecasts so that everybody goes to plan to see their new movies. Like Geostorm. Of course. That a Disney movie? Oh, okay. Angry, Angry Mage is recommending, uh, he's recommending food items. He's like, 
beans, corn, green onions, red rice. There's a lot of stuff that goes great with steak. Thank you. Thank you. Beans would be good. Just a big bowl of beans. Yeah, baby. Maybe like That's baked beans. Of course. Just about like a can of baked beans. Yep, with the bacon in it. Maybe, yeah. That's too rich, though. You want something kind of... You want some kind of like starch to something go with, lighter. Yeah, to go with a, a strong Honestly, beefy steak. If we're going that route, let's just not even cook the steaks at all. Let's just have a, a nice Caesar salad, a little bit of uh, light olive oil, and uh, rice we'll, cakes. We'll do, yes, of course. Uh, we'll eat some tofu. We'll cook some tofu on the grill. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just send me like a list of when you like go shopping or whatever. Send me everything you're buying so that I know how much beer to get and shit. Okay. All right. Item number one. Jack's, the superior cheese puff product. Item number two, Jenny Light. Item number three, Jenny Light. Jenny Why do you always nail. go for Jenny Light? I was just going to buy it's, Genesee. Nah. It's full. It's better. It's not light. Item number four, <laughs> weed. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Do you sell weed here? Did you know I could score some weed? Weed prank. Check, uh, yo, I what's do up, get YouTube? A... On this one, I... I'm going to go up to a cop and ask him if he can sell me some weed. I wonder if that's illegal. Uh, I mean, they have to tell you if they're a cop, so. If, I but if, you I... say, if you say, could you sell me weed, I bet it's okay. You can't say, I would like to buy some weed. Well, or, no, they, that, that's also, it's just that's just an opinion. Like, I would like to buy weed, but it's illegal, right? So you, you could probably even say, I would like to buy some weed. You probably have to say... I am intent. I don't even know how you would phrase it to to like show intent. Uh, Look, I am asking you, and under the assumption that you are in please, possession please of Please give marijuana. me weed for if this money, I, sir. Yes, I have money in my hand that I would like to exchange for marijuana. You being the facilitator of such a transaction. <laughs> Just like you went to a lawyer and learned the exact specific like. <laughs> to get yourself arrested. Yeah, like the exact the opposite of how you normally get yourself out. You just learned the exact verbiage you need to get arrested. <laughs> All right. Well, that that attempt didn't work. I'm gonna try something a little bit different this time. Smear yourself with uh, with shoe polish. Go back up to him. Hello, officer. Would I be able to procure some marijuanas? And then you're shot and dead. Uh... Oh. What's up? What you got? I'm just looking at the things I want to... I have a grocery... My grocery app lets me keep multiple lists of... Uh, multiple grocery lists, and I have one called Crazy Town. What? What is Crazy Town? It's, uh, it's wild shit. I'm thinking about buying one day, but aren't... Ain't right Passion now. fruit. <laughs> Quinoa. Dragon, dragon fruit. Yeah, Toblerones. Crazy shit. <laughs> um, no, there's nothing good in there. Well, I, all I do at, at work now, basically, is watch cooking tutorial videos. So I'll probably think of more stuff I want to I want to bake. I'm so good at cooking steaks. I've I've pretty much mastered steaks and burgers at this point. Every steak I make is so insanely good. Burgers also pretty good, even though they're like frozen. What do you cook? Do you, just, do you just do a medium rare? You just do medium rare. Yeah. Well, and also you sear the shit out of it, and then you let it sit for a second, let the pan cool down, and then you butter baste it for a few minutes till it gets up there. Then you gotta let it rest. Put some garlic in the butter while you're basting it, and it's ooh. Mm. You, say, you say you cook frozen burgers. I do frozen burgers, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm out. I'm a, I'm vegetable oil. Let them get a nice crust on the outside. Every burger yeah, I mean, makes out of control now. Nice. I'm looking forward to consuming one of these burgers. Well, they're gonna be your. I mean, you're gonna. Well, I guess you'll do the forming. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not experienced with grill burgers, but how hard could they be, really? Yeah, uh, it, it, it's basically the same shit. Just don't. We have to remember. Don't. We're gonna be drunk. We just have to remember. Don't flip. You're not supposed to flip the burger more than once. Like, just don't move Correct. it. Don't fucking touch it. It needs to go for longer than like you know four minutes. I still think about this one time that I was cooking on a grill, <laughs> and I was and I was flipping this burger, and I lost it between the grates, and it was gone forever, yep. and it would look so scrumptious. Mm-hmm. It looks so good, and I wasted it. I saw a video where these people, 
They didn't even buy ground beef. They just got a bunch of chuck and they got a bunch of short rib. And they just chopped it up. It wasn't even very fine. They just chopped it up with a knife and like squished it together and made a burger out of it. And it just worked. And they said it was good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we'll do is we'll get a meat grinder and we'll throw it out afterwards. Because I'm not cleaning a meat grinder. You kidding me? Oh, yeah, I know. Meat grinder seemed like the biggest pain in the ass. Dave, David was recently asking me about this. He's like, how do I make a better burger? You know, and, and he's like, it seems like meat quality is the important thing. And like, you know, I, it seems like you want to find the cuts of meat that you want to use and make your own beef. And I'm like, David, it's, don't do it. Don't do it, man. That's, <laughs> yeah, because it's the kind of, well, you, you have to find the perfect, you know, your perfect ratio of fat to, to beef. And that requires trying different amounts of chuck and short rib or whatever else you want to use i think those are the main two people people go with uh and then there's yeah i will never i will never grind meat we'll hey angry mage I'm, congrats I'm on your meatloaf hear, bud. yeah i'm here glad to hear about it <laughs> good uh meat, meatloaf is good i don't really have it's i've only had it a couple times um it's got kind of a bad rap, I think. It's just a big meatball. Yeah. My mom's meatloaf was always really good, and then she started like filling it with cranberry sauce. Oh. And then I thought it wasn't, or it wasn't crazy, as crazy about that. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, we yeah, probably. I'm, tap- I'm tapped. We were pro- we're probably <laughs> good. That. Yeah. That's the first two episodes in the saga of Kizu Monogatari. Like- yeah, I guess. When, when do we have the next fucking anime? When's the next season? Is it airing right now? Um, that's um, when you get back from Campu. Uh, it will be time. All right. Well, we'll probably record an episode while we're up there, and that'll tie us up with that. Lynn. Also, actually, yeah, between then and now, we should watch Kizu Monogatari 3, and we should watch the last episode of Kono Hoto Tomare. Which we yeah, wanted to do. Yeah, let's do that for sure. Oh, we, can probably, we can probably smash those into one, honestly. Crazy Kizu fucking... Wasn't a ton of content. We need the most content possible, okay? Yeah. So yeah. let's maybe stretch it a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um... And then, I don't know, we can watch more Index or something. Hopefully I'll, I'll have enough sleep for the next episode. Yeah, get some of that good sleep. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Angry Mage. Thank you, everybody. Don't pretend like we don't just have one listener. Thanks for all of the thoughts, everyone. Everyone, wait, everyone's telling us they want an encore. There's everyone's, thousands of people spamming in the chat. Everyone's Tampa. cheering. My, everyone's cheering my name. Oh my god! The, oh, your appreciation for. I'm oh weeping. my gosh! Our Patreon numbers are soaring through the fucking roof. Yes, be sure to check out our Patreon. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, check it out. It's got some real cool stuff in there. We, we, every month, we'll send you a pin. One, this month, it's it's Mario, but it's done in the art style of Zelda. It's Mario, but he's black. It's art. That's that's the secret fifth brother, Blario. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>